Yurnant walks thoughtfully around the grove. He pauses in front of a few trees, lingering there for some time. He seems to be examining something carefully. At the sound of your footsteps, he turns around abruptly, but the anxious expression of his face quickly gives away to an amiable smile. Commander, it's so good to see you. It seems you find town found time to visit our quiet backwater, after all. I could be mistaken, but it looked like you were frightened by my arrival. Oh, no, no. You startled me, that's all. It's my overactive imagination. I still can't get used to living in such a small village. The town where I grew up was a coal a good deal larger and it was located near a, near a trade route, so there were always lots of new faces and plenty of people bustling around. Here, though, it's different. The moment you step outside the village, you're all alone. You can walk for miles in any direction with only the birds and animals for company. This is, of course, the way Era still teaches us to live. But truth be told, it still makes me feel somewhat uncomfortable. Yeah, I mean, an isolated place like this would be great to form a cult, for example. Hmm. Why were you looking at those trees? See for yourself. He points to one of the branches and amongst the leaves you notice a small doll. Yeah, saw that. I keep finding them here in the grove. I think it's some kind of local ritual. I've asked the villagers to tell me what it means, but they won't give me an answer. I just don't understand the reason for all this secrecy. You know what? Maybe the villagers are part of a cult and they sacrifice... Kids? To keep the war away from them? Doesn't make sense. And that is the way of them... You know, showing that they have done something. Hmm. My imagination going places. Yes, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, how do you like living in the village? Getting used to the way of things. I still get the occasional sidelong glance from the locals, but it's not surprising. After all, I'm just some stranger who's decided to show up without an invitation and settle down in the village. But the church warned us about this. Such caution is to be expected at first. I just have to do my best to earn their trust. I heal, purify the water, I give blessings. Sooner or later, they will accept me as one of their own. Hmm, it's so quiet here. War makes you forget what peace feels like. I understand. My time in Canabras gave me a small taste of war. I only had to live through it for a few days, but I know the horrors I've witnessed will haunt my nightmares for years to come. I cannot imagine how hard it is for those like yourself soldiers who have given their lives to the cause. You have chosen to fight there in order to protect our peaceful and quiet life here, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. What do the locals think of Aristil? They're indifferent. They're pragmatic people, you know, they don't have time for theology. Hmm. Hmm. If old dead eye helps them survive, that's good enough for them. You know, some priests get overzealous with sermons. They demand that people pray, observe all rituals, make sacrifices. And then those priests, all holy and pious, are surprised when locals kick them out of the village, right into the nearest ditch. <laughs> I was taught differently. First, you have to prove your worth. You have to show them why you and your deity are useful. It's only after they've begun to trust you and start asking questions about faith that you can really share your beliefs. Then you can tell them all about Old Dead Eye and his teachings. Okay. Well then, will you show me around the village? Of course, let's go. You get to meet the locals, see how, they, how we live. Maybe you'll even manage to get some peace and quiet. A temporary respite from the hardships of war. Hmm. Game. I know what you're doing to me. I know what you're trying to tell me. That I'm gonna be quiet and this is nothing, it's gonna be easy and smooth, and then you're gonna like pop me fights from all over the places. Hmm. Don't be offended if they all start gawking at you. In this remote village, people have never seen someone of your kind before. Your horns are a real novelty for them, but I have already told them about you and explained everything as best as I could. Uh oh. Uh oh. Old dog clad in a small 
light blue light blue dress three old doll hang from the branches ducks okay so we have your knock with us and something is gonna happen. Hi, Mr. Elk. What's in wait for me there? Now we are making a mystery of ourselves? So beautiful how it, it reminds me of we just crossed autumn and all that. What a beast. We've got you now. Watch out for those huge teeth. Don't let him catch you. Oh, this dude is dead. Aim for her throat and belly. Here are scales there. I hate Hydras. Don't be afraid, everyone. We fought big ones bigger than this. This dude is dead. Oh. He has a name. He has a proper name. Precision and grace. I'm here. Warehouse okay, ready. let's go. Ooh, villagers are dead already. Pretty much. Uh, guys, run. A okay, Sila, you have to charge this. Charge, charge. We are uh, I again. That will teach you to mess with us. That will teach you to mess... Oh, not to mess with us, I think. Something's got him all worked up. That's the second time they've crawled out of this month. So let them come. It's not the first time and it won't be the last. But what is the matter? They can't hurt us and we can use their hides to make a lot of waterproof cloaks and coats. They can't hurt us? Marco, Melissa, I'd like to introduce you to someone. This is Egan, the commander of the crusade. She's the one I told you about. Ah, oh, a real hero in our little backwater. It's so nice of you to drop by. We've never had anyone so important come to visit. Heroic acts are important, but sometimes it's good to leave the front lines and talk to ordinary people living ordinary lives. Huh. This is sus. This is sus. Anyway, welcome to Chili Creek. Hmm. Hunters are usually far more dangerous. That be beast was not at its full strength. I can tell you have an eye for such things. Well, of course she does. She's the commander of the crusade. Probably could have told you all that with her eyes shut. It's all thanks to our mother. I see real. She takes care of her children. Children. Won't let anyone hurt them. Hmm. She fills our nets with fish and drives away the monsters. I wonder what she takes in return. That's right. And if she doesn't drive the beasts away, they will weaken them. So we can kill them and harvest their hides. Who is Icy Real? She's right here. Markle nods towards the river. Did you think she was the Selen? No. I take you half a day rowing before you reach that river. It's big to be sure and very important. The Selen flows through at least a dozen countries. Yeah, we we saw the Selen previously in the other game. But where would the great Selen be if it wasn't fed by thousands of little streams and creeks such as our dear Icy Rill? I wonder if they drowned people. Hmm. The people of Chili Creek hold the river in great reverence. How can we not? Our whole lives are built around the river. From the wedding rest we send down its stream to the funeral boat that flows away on the waters when the time comes. Our mother, Icy Rill, feeds us, gives us water, protects us. With a kind smile, Marco casts a sidelong glance at the frowning priest. The gods are far away, but our Icy Rill is right here, so we treat her with respect. Hmm. The two of you look very much alike. I assume you're related? Right we are. She's my little sister. 
Ticks after her granny made her mother never fade. Memory had never fade. She was always restless, couldn't stand still. And Melissa is just the same. She's always up to something. And you took after her grandpa, made the river silt be his feather bed. You're as brave as he was, and just as stubborn. Hmm. You two looked very confident when you were giving orders to the other villagers during the fight. Are you in charge here? Well, how should I put this? Our village is too small for anyone to be in charge. You just happen to know a thing or two about using a weapon, so if some nasty creature comes crawling out of the river, we give the orders. But when it comes to fishing or fixing nets, we'll be the ones following orders. We're not an army, and there are no officers here. We all live together, solve our problems together, and serve the icy rail together. Hey, Fe. Hi! Oh, it's going great, actually. It's going really great. Mm. A little tired today. Couldn't manage to sleep much. But, um... Everything is fine. Uh, I was sa saying to everyone, since there's more people here now, I will probably not stream on Sunday, guys, because I have a small biopsy to do tomorrow. Um, so I, it's on it's in my arm, in my left arm, so I'll probably not be able to to use it for at least two or three days. So yeah, so probably very likely no stream. We are not an army and there are no officers here. We all live together, solve our problems together and serve the icy rail together. Although, truth be, truth be told, it's only been in the last few years that people have really started listening to us. Before that, villagers kept to themselves and no one wanted to go poking their nose into anyone else's business. When we first came up with the idea to start trading on the river, the other villagers stubbornly dug in their heels. Hmm. But after money and goods began to flow into the village, they changed their minds. So they were the ones that started things. Hmm. Yes, the village has been growing. We're getting to see all sorts of things we had only ever heard about before. Hmm. The year before last, we had a fair and people came all the way from Canabras to attend. Then a priest came, but we'd never seen one of those before in these parts. A priest they have never seen before? And now, who would have thought the commander of the crusade has decided to pay us a visit? And not just a commander, but a kingswoman of the lower plains. In another village, people might run away screaming as soon as they spot your horns, but we're not like that. Huh. Besides, the priest has explained to us that it's a great gift when a mortal child of fiendish blood overcomes their cursed legacy and fights against the monsters. What are those grass dolls hanging from the trees? A shadow passes over Markel's face and he looks away. Huh. There's nothing much to tell, really. An old local custom. It's just a ritual, Melissa adds with a low voice. No one seems willing to share any further details with you. Hmm. Where is my perception check when I need them? How's life in the village? Now that you've got a priest. Not much has changed. He's a good lad. He does some healing. Never bothers us with sermons. Why? He's even learning to fish in this spare time. He also knows a lot of songs. And when he sings, it makes you want to sit and listen. The word wound is not that far away. Have you ever been attacked by demons? No, we've never seen any. Our mother, Icy Real, keeps us safe. We would never let such abominations get near us. Something is fishy. Back to the front. I can't even imagine the nightmarish creatures you have to fight there. Have a safe journey and a swift victory. Hmm. Mutated fish. I did it! 
Nice gloves. Oppressor gloves. These gloves bring the wearer plus two bonus to persuasion skill checks made to intimidate. In addition, whenever the wearer of these gloves confirms a critical hit, the enemy suffers minus two penalty on saving throws. Hmm. Who has persuasion? Is it her? Someone has persuasion. Let's see, character. Uh, 15, 2, 1, 19. Okay. It's gonna go to Darren. Actually, no, it's gonna go to Siwa. She hits harder. Let's try talking to villagers. We caught a big fish, the commander of the crusade. Huh. I wonder if they were willing to ambush me. Wherever my legs carry me. Yeah, there's a dire wolf up there. Oh no, I hate wolves. <laughs> so this is probably the entrance of the town. Forwards! No backwards, backwards! Now we have really something up here. Oh, hello! There's loot. Yeah, there's loot down here. But there is something to fight. Yeah, wolves. Gosh, I hate wolves. I hate wolves. And there's probably many of them. Um, use bless. Use archon. Make yourself smaller. Together, we stay. You are my favorite aid. Yes. Okay. Into the fray. I'll bathe in your blood. Cannot be only two of them. See your entrails, please. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it's only two and I overbuffed for nothing. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. I still have more. Oh, wait. Trail me. Corrupted animal meat. I see another mega over here. More elks. I see loot. Wasn't wait for me there. This poor elk. <laughs> saving all. He's, he's losing all his saving throws. I think 
think there's something here because there's a lot of loot on this side. Like who killed these? Oh, another Zmeladon. Make short work of this. Is it alone? No time for debates. It is. <gasps> no, it is not. It is definitely, definitely not alone. No, it isn't. Oh, holy, holy. Oh, no. Wojif, you go back. Wojif, run. Okay, let, you're the one in the front. For God's sake. If you get to this side. Oh my god, I'm already being destroyed. Oh, we are, we are goners. Yes, I am goner. Oh gosh. Okay, I didn't know there were gonna be a bear. Bears are stoutly powerful. If you guys think this Melodons hit hard, bears hit so much harder. I'm always open to ideas. We don't have bless anymore. Let's buff everything. Smile. The world's not ending just yet. Oh, Jesus. Silver Arkansora. Something wrong. Oh, yes, this. Okay, it's safe. This way. Together we stay. Blood. Uh, Blood! Did I mess up again? Just kill it fast. <laughs> Cover me, all right? Okay, everyone, kill this Milodon now. This is for today. This is right now, as of this instant. <laughs> Sila is getting chunked by the bear. Okay, but at least now... Wait, what? There's another one? Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is horrible. Oh, this is... Ooh, worse. Oh, tactical retreat! No! Did we drop the bear? To the fray. I think we did. Okay, uh, you leave. It's all your fault. He's down. The light take you. The one tanking, not me. Heal, for God's sake. Oh no, 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 he's dead, dead. Oh gosh, why? 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 It was beautiful, chat. It was beautiful. Gosh. I miss Ember. I miss Ember so much. Okay, nice Lord, if I need you to be on this side, and me too. This way. A bright future awaits us. Be 
blood. Blood! Burn. Slice. Uh, behead. Of course. Why are you tanking? You are not supposed to tank. Tactical retreat. No. He's gonna fall again, isn't he? Yes. I knew it. He is much faster than Sheila and always gets to be in the front. No matter how hard I, I put me. them. Okay, you two are gonna be stay here and you're gonna stop. Everyone else go. Dark Fory, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you so much. Welcome to my community. I'll rip you apart. We are I'll tear uh, your throat out. trying not to go crazy insane right now. It's kind of hard. It's kind of hard. Admit. Go. It's it's not driving me insane at all. <laughs> Come on, Nenio. Okay. Uh, heal yourself. Come on, you can do it. No, you can't do it. I don't know where that plate Smilodon comes from. Or why doesn't it attack? Because it's definitely not here. I would have per I would have had a perception on it. I don't know where it comes from. There's no perception checks. There's no nothing that's gonna tell me there's a third person. Hey! We almost succeeded on this fight so many times already. I hate Smilodons. Hate, 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 hate. Don't mind me. Okay, rogues, you guys are on your side. You hold. Minio, you prepare. Are we hasted? We are not hasted. Much better now. Um. I'll rip you apart. Oh no, bear is coming from the other side now. And now I see the others, Maladon. Out of my sight! Actually, no. everyone in this one. Uh, Wold, if you stay over here. You're all waiting for. Burn! Slice! Uh, behead! She's already getting destroyed. Uh, yeah. This will leave a bruise. Okay, so we managed to get. You know what? Can I give Vanish Wolgif? Come on, Darren, you can do it. Oh. They hit so hard. They all hit so hard. I'm sorry, guys. I'll, I'll manage to do it, just like the other fights. I just need to have a little bit more control. A little bit more control. Burn! Slice! Uh, a bright behead. future awaits us. Let's have some fun. Uh, oh, thank you for amusing me. Uh, I need grease. I need grease. I need grease. Right here. Uh. My god, woman. Can you take like five hits? Five hits, that's all I'm asking. 
It's all what? your fault. Yeah, we're all down for it. <laughs> this is just a disgrace. A disgrace, I'd say. A disgrace. When I hit well, I almost have the first Smilodon dead by the time that I, I put my party in place. This is a good place. But it's not a good idea to have Sila all the way over there. Maybe I should have her fearing. Ugh, did I mess up again? Oh, yeah, I can't. But I can't smite. Mr. Bear, you are going to be healing her. Where is the other? Somewhere. Um. And you free bow. Okay. Now everyone in this, he's on. He's on my boy again. He's down. It's all my fault. You're irrelevant. Come on, everyone on it. Good job. Darren, uh, you raise him. Nice. So this was luck. This was only based because I managed to hit and not miss like faster than they it was only because of that quite simple really but you guys can see how hard of a fight this is it's just so hard for no reason at all because they hit too fast and they hit too hard they hit too mm. hard Oh, he has Missed a... Me already. Oh, he failed. Together we stand. How about you? Uh, oh, I can't. Did I mess up again? Oh, skip the pleasantries. Patrizio Turino. Okay, I have more places to look. There's this. Pretty sure there's something sketchy going on. With this place. Don't super trust this village. Which god they have stuff wherever my legs carry me hmm so great that i just spent everything they had huh <laughs> okay let's see what they have for me no backwards backwards See Melissa and Markle here. Hmm. They say the demons in the wound are on the move again. Something's about to happen. Something happened that will be happen there, not here. Things stay quiet around here, thanks to the river. That's how it should be. 
Yes, I see real will keep us safe. She won't allow any harm to come to us. Still, what do you think is happening with the demons, I mean? 